government bought on their farm and settled 263 Hain Om San community from Oshivelo in 2013. The farm was provided with farming tools, seeds and San people started producing vegetables which were sold at Tumep and Omithia. The project has not been in operation for four years because its electricity bill was in arrears and the power supply due to this was disconnected. Government came to the farm's rescue and installed solar panels at the project which is now used to pump water. The United Nations World Food Programme through the Sustainable Food Systems Programme stepped in to revive the project. I therefore urge the Ondela community to capitalize on this project and modernize food production by adopting climate silent, I mean less silent, cost effective, technology red approach, which is associated with a higher yield in order to contribute to our national safety. The project has started with swell preparation where wheat will be planted on 11.5 hectares. The office administrator at Ondera Farm says Ondera Primary School is also given their portion of land to produce food for school feeding program and income generation. So now we are really very happy, proud for our government. Our government listened, listened to us and it's our government who brought us here and our government is taking care of us. But what we people will do and what I especially encouraging my community is let's hold hands together and what we have been given, we must plow back, let me say plow back, so that the government can also see we have to sustain on our own also to do something. The World Food Program is happy to fund the project following a memorandum of understanding signed with the Oshikoto Regional Council in 2013. Uh, how do we ensure that the government doesn't have to pump money into a school feeding program every year? The school can produce its own food and even sell so that you invest a one-off investment for the school to be sustainable. So these are the kind of visions or activities that we are starting to take. We are doing baby steps, but as I say, we'll have to fall and raise ourselves again to make it successful. So if you fall once, let's not give up. The event ended with a fundraising where over $230,000 was raised to support the project. <laughs>